What's up guys? Welcome to another episode of Recreating. So today we're gonna do a review of Toka and Raza. Stay tuned. All right guys, so I just got these guys in. Um, you guys probably seen millions of other reviews or other YouTubers uh, reviewing these guys because they're worth the review. Um, I'm sorry I'm so late in the game, but I did just receive them actually today, uh, which would be yesterday when you guys are watching this video maybe or even that same day i don't know it depends on what time i i upload this video but it, it is kind of late at night right now so uh there's a good chance that i just i'll just upload it tomorrow afternoon or something but anyways uh these figures are the figures that we've been waiting for for a very 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 long time if you guys pre-order them you know you guys pre-order them way back when and they are finally here they're finally arriving and that's a good thing that we got on before Christmas because, man, these are a Christmas miracle. <laughs> these guys are fantastic, dude. It's crazy how good these guys are and how good they're articulated. And they're so close to um, the movie as possible. And I think they did it. The sculptors at NECA did a fantastic job on these guys. Anyways uh let's get right into the review and i think we should review toka first and then we'll get into raza all right guys so here is toka uh i think toka looks freaking awesome uh, honestly when i was looking at other people's reviews the paint doesn't even come off all that great like the paint on the reviews don't even, it doesn't look great it looks like a almost a lime color when when i saw him in everybody else's reviews and i was like oh man i have to repaint that guy because it doesn't look it doesn't look right but in person the colors are perfect they're really really good color they're colored just right and um there's some brown tones in there some white and yellowish tones with some uh beige colors and stuff like that and the color is amazing it looks perfect and on this guy um Honestly, because I, I was kind of disappointed when I when I was looking at the reviews, all the reviews that I saw on YouTube. I was like, man, those colors are way off. But uh, in person, dude, it, it's perfect. The color, I don't have to do anything to it. it. The coloring is like awesome. It's really, really good. But anyways, um, as far as articulation, let's get right to articulation so we can get it out of the way. Um, his arms go up that much. He does have a little... You could rotate his arm all the way around and they do fold forward like this much. Uh, it does look like he has a double joint, but this hinders it a little bit, which is understandable because it wraps all the way around his arm. So it's okay if it does that. Um, it's still really, really good uh, movement. You could touch his nose or put something in his mouth. Speaking of his mouth, his mouth opens wide. You could see his mouth opens super wide like it's really cool how wide it open one weird thing about it i don't know if you guys could see his teeth in there they're creepy looking i've never noticed that toka's teeth look like that inside there they're really really creepy teeth <laughs> but anyways this little beak goes up and down and you could move it a little bit like this exposing those weird teeth and then the cool part about it is that his eyebrows go up and they go down and you could make uh, facial facial expressions the way you want to make them you guys can make them like he's, he's excited or he's curious about something mm -hmm. and then he's mad about something or he could be shocked So really cool. So that way you don't need extra extra heads, uh, which is really cool. You don't have to uh, be switching off the heads and maybe popping off the heads and messing up the little joints inside there. So that is really, really cool. That's a really cool part uh, of this figure. So you could get different expressions without having to change the faces, which is really awesome. As far as the legs, uh, they kick out that much, which is really good. Uh, they bend back that much. Once again, there's double jointed, double jointed, and um, it does kick back all the way to his spikes in the back. Speaking about the spikes, they're pretty spiky, even though they're like really soft. It's a softer plastic or a rubber, and but like when you touch them, you could you could feel that it's really really spiky, and it all that 
nice nice sculpting in there can you imagine sculpting all that it's crazy and then all the little wrinkles here and all the little wrinkles there and all this the face looks really really good this figure oh and the leg the feet uh move forward that much and they move uh, i don't want to crack this guy move up that much and then you do have a pivot there and his feet look really cool just like in the movie when he gets stuck on the when he goes when he tries to follow the turtles and he, he jumps into the sewer and he gets stuck those are the feet i remember look at that really cool really cool stuff uh these are just rags of there it's plastic and these are i guess tires but these man I I'll, I'm a very very impatient guy, and and you could ask anybody that knows me personally. I'm very impatient, and man, these guys are worth the wait. Honestly, I gotta say these guys are worth the wait. Like it's incredible the details they put into these guys and the height on them are really cool. And I'll and I'll show you a comparison um, with all the other figures. Uh, he does tend to fall forward a little bit. But because uh, he is kind of top heavy because of that big old shell, but I mean, other than that, he's not bad. But uh, let's get into my favorite figure. Um, is Razar? Razar was one of my favorites. I thought he was a lot cooler than uh, Toka. Uh, he he's definitely my favorite out of the two. Uh, and the detail that they put into this guy is incredible. Like it it that's. That's Razar right there. That's Razar literally out of the movie. They sculpted him right out of the movie. And then the articulation, the way they move their mouth, it's really cool because this whole piece is a separate piece. And so the hair can move up and down like that. It would have been cool if we got his eyebrows moving up and down too because he does, he does do a lot of facial expressions in the movie. And so it would have been cool to have his eyebrows moving up and down like that too. But uh, I was thinking of doing that, but I don't know if I want to ruin the figure like that. I'm sure I could sculpt all this back and then just, you know, put a little peg that moves his eyebrows up and down. I don't know. Stay tuned. Stay tuned. I'll, I'll, I'll think about it. If I end up doing it, I'll definitely make a video about it. But anyways, all this gear that he has here looks really cool. And the way it feels is really cool. It feels like actual tires because I guess all this is supposed to make, be made out of tires. And then he has spikes sticking out of it. But the spikes are a little rubbery pieces not really spiky at all like his turtle shell and these chains are actual chains which is cool i heard a lot of people were having trouble with these things they weren't staying on and it kept falling off but um mine is completely fine and man if you guys could see like if you guys get your figures and you guys see the detail that they put into this thing to make it seem like it's an actual rag man it's crazy the sculptors at NECA wow 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 really 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 good job really good job and the fur and everything looks great the paint job looks great amazing figures amazing figures the only thing that bothers me if I if I had to choose something that you know to complain about which I don't really care much about but if I had to be nitpicky about everything would be the hands the hands and the feet, the way they painted these, a little bit lighter brown, and they're just lighter brown. It would have been cool if we had some like uh, some weathering or some little shading here and there on the, on the hands. That would have made it a lot better. Also, I did want to point out that uh, they did say that his fingers were going to be articulated. Uh, if you guys could see this picture, you guys see that his fingers were supposed to be articulated. Uh, even Randy said it himself that the, that the fingers were supposed to be articulated. You could pull the fingers back and forth um and he did tell us that his eyebrows weren't going to be articulated but he did say that the fingers were going to be articulated so uh, i was hoping that we would get that because that would be cool if we could just do that uh instead of switching hands because switching hands it's a pain in the butt and it's it kind of sucks because it's like um 
uh, you have a pile of hands or you have a pile of all kinds of stuff all over the place and you're like man i have to switch this hand with this hand and i have to switch here and i have to switch there and it is a, it is a kind of a pain in the butt and it does take up a lot of room when you have extra parts and you just stash them somewhere in your drawer or whatever and it's like uh where's this hand that i need or you know it kind of sucks in that sense but i mean it's cool that they gave us hands speaking of which uh oh I didn't even get into the articulation on this guy. Uh, he does rotate there. Uh, he does. Yeah, that's 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 an issue. <laughs> so uh, he does have double joint here. Uh, the way they made it seem, it's really cool. It's a long joint here uh, where the articulation goes. Like it folds here and then it folds forward. If I could fold it forward, I'm breaking here. There we go. So it's like kind of like a weird bend, but at the same time, it it's cool because of the fur that they put here. That this full that this fur covering it, it kind of it kind of makes it look okay. You know what I mean? So you could scratch his beard or whatever. But it's still oh, there goes my hand again. That's the pro That's the problem with having to switch hands all the time is that these have to be loose enough to pop them out because if they're not loose enough you might break a joint and then you're asked out and you don't have a <laughs> you don't have a hand anywhere to put in you have to fix the hand and everything so anyways this hand goes all the way around it could go all the way around uh, these don't hinder it much because these could lift up pretty high up and goes up this much and then of course you have the rotation there and you could go forward and you could go back on that hand uh, his face goes all the way around if you wanted to do that there it is double jointed in there as well there's a joint here and then there's a joint on the on the top of the head there so you get a lot of range of movement there from this guy which is really really cool and also the squats or sit-ups I should say and then he kicks up that high up which is good and then he he's he, he not double jointed on the knee but it's still really good bent there i mean he doesn't even need the double joint and it's still a really really good bent and then of course you got your pivot forward back and you could move it side to side like that and yeah that's that figure anyways about the hands you get a bunch of hands which are kind of the same, I guess. Kind of the same thing. Basically, one's going like this, one's going like this, and one's going like this. So that's all the hands there is. Uh, this one fits something there. I don't know what's supposed to be in there because it's got like a little... I don't know if you guys can see that. It's like a little gap there, and there's a little gap here. I don't know if the camera's picking that up or not, but... That's Toka's hands and then Razar's hands, it's the same thing. So it's just basically that, that, and that. And that's what the, you see there. And then accessories we come with the TGRI canister of ooze, which is really cool. And then we get the piece of log. Uh, this is part of the street pole. Uh, if you guys remember the movie, he goes up to the street pole and then he goes and he takes a chunk out of it, bites it off. And I think that's why they put those teeth marks, even though those teeth marks are way spread apart more than it's supposed to be. But I think that's what this is, part of that street post that he tears apart when they when Shredder goes and he says, go, have fun, play or whatever. They go on the street and then they destroy the whole city or not the whole street, at least that whole street. Uh, that's what he takes it off of, that post that's what i think this is but uh as far as the the look of it it looks really really good it's pretty heavy actually and then you have this pipe that uh toka takes apart and he has a pipe to beat the turtles with and the details on this pipe is really good as well my camera will focus on it there you go Really nice details on that. And then we get the fire hydrant. I don't know why people were complaining about getting a fire hydrant. Uh, this was the reason why these guys died. Or not died, well, they defeated these guys with this. So that's why I know why NECA put this in is because that's what defeated these guys is that they put this in their mouths and then they uh, they cooled down their, the, 
the little pill that they have speaking of which let me show you what pill i'm talking about that little pill inside there the little donut uh that's what uh when mikey drops a donut i mean not the donut when mikey drops his pizza inside so when they're doing a mixture to uh, or the chemical to make these guys turn them back into regular animals uh they get these little uh little cubes to turn them into little cubes or ice cubes and um you can turn them into little ice cubes like that and then they put them in the donuts and then they trick these guys into eating it but since mikey dropped his pizza into the mix uh it, the the um, the chemicals weren't working fast enough so they had to use this guy to um to to move forward the process of you know making them into creatures again or regular animals or you know, anyways that's that's really cool the little donuts and you could take all the little donuts out if you wanted to there's a little box it's really nice and i guess that's why they made the hands go like this because so that specific scene is when he crushes his donut uh he gets a donut in his hand and then he squeezes it and then he reveals a little peel the, the little pill inside or the little cube inside so that's pretty cool and then he gets a shield uh, which you could just put on like so just wrap it around his arm like that and it stays there which is really cool and the details on these things look really cool the metallics and all the rust look into it and all that really really nice really nice detail in there I gotta say I gotta give it a, like seriously this, these guys really they they knocked this one out of the park these guys are fantastic like I said the the wait was definitely worth it I was sitting there waiting for these guys to come in every single day and I didn't even get any notifications people were just getting these things without notifications I literally had to send messages to um, to FedEx to see when they're gonna ship them out they gave me a shipping date but the day that I sent them a, a thing, they said that supposedly there was already out. But uh, if you guys, if I track, if I track down the the number that they gave me, they it said just now leaving <laughs> the NECA facility, going into um, going into uh, what you call it, or the label was made, but FedEx hasn't received it yet until the next day. FedEx finally received it, so they were lying to me about they already had shipped it out. But whatever it is, what it is, I received them. They're in good shape they're really really good figures so i'm really really happy to have these figures and it's it's amazing anyways let's do a comparison with the uh, toka all right just for a little comparison this is the original figure from toka this is the original one that we got as kids and then this is the cartoon version that i made this is the one if you guys haven't seen that video go back and check out the video oh and i added the tail because I don't know if you guys ever watched that video. If you haven't, go check it out. But I forgot to do the tail on this guy. And I finally put the tail back in there. So this guy is completely done. 100% done. And if you guys haven't seen that video, go back and check it out. Like I said. So yeah, those are, those are, those are your references of uh, Toka. And then Razar, unfortunately, his arm fell off or ripped off and his uh, chest piece got torn off but uh it is what it is i have to buy a new one and that's the size comparison this is a size comparison to him oh. almost dropped him oh, yeah there goes my thumb now <laughs> so anyways guys i hope you enjoy this little review uh i know it's kind of late in the game but it is what it is i wanted to do a review on these guys from the very beginning but unfortunately i just got them in so i did them as soon as i could uh worth the wait anyways thank you guys so much for watching if you enjoyed this episode please don't forget to hit the thumbs up if you're new to the channel please don't forget to subscribe because if you guys do guess what i guess we'll see me on next one peace